Industry Hollywood has now gone online. From the set to the back office, studios have explored cyberspace in a big way. And now, agents and casting directors are getting into that act. Joining us live now from Hollywood with that part of the story, entertainment reporter Jerry Cobb. Jerry? Hey, Bill. Coming to you today from Industry Cyber Cafe. It's sort of an online eatery and resource center for actors and others in the biz. But, you know, no matter how many resumes and photographs actors send out, no matter how many auditions they go on, most of them face a situation of don't call us, we'll call you. Well, now a growing number of actors are trying a new way to break in by going online. When they're not acting, actors spend a lot of time stapling resumes and photographs, which eventually wind up on the desks of casting directors, like Sheila Manning. We usually get between 1,000 and 5,000 okay, pictures per part. So that means generally actors have a 1 in 5,000 chance of, be, of, getting, of being seen, let alone getting the part. To improve their odds and save paper and staples, many actors are posting their resumes and headshots on the internet. There are now more than a hundred websites that showcase actors and models, and while a growing number of agents and casting directors regularly surf the net for talent, there are still some big limitations. When you have 30,000 pictures uh, via messenger services right now going all over town, to try to feed that through uh, to casting directors, there's some concern that you can't do that very well on the internet, and that what you really need is a direct modem link up between the casting director's office and the agent's office. I may say I want to see this fellow, this fellow, and this fellow. That's exactly the idea behind StarCaster, a program designed to link casting directors and agents on a single dedicated network. The information will be transferred back and forth virtually instantaneously, and the information will arrive not only in what we call mission-ready format, but with a high degree of resolution. It's even possible to send audio and video Hi. clips. I book most of my work out of the New York, Philadelphia, and Washington, D.C. area. While the industry welcomes some form of online casting, many believe its full potential is still a few years away. As soon as they can show me enough pictures and resumes on my monitor, as I can do by hand, then we'll be able to save the delivery time. We'll be able to save the trees, which I think would be a really positive thing. And the casting will go faster. Now there are still some security issues and technical concerns that have to be addressed before an industry-wide casting network can go online. And since computers can't go everywhere and because they do break down, the traditional resume and headshot will probably be around for a long time to come. Bill? Pretty disconcerting seeing her flip through those pictures that quickly. That's that's all a chance you get some of the times. What that's about, reality. What, what, it's pretty scary, too. What about the cost, though, I mean, uh, of putting this together? Who's going to pay for that? Well, as in the current model, actors will probably bear much of the cost of this new system. They spend hundreds, if not thousands, of dollars each year having their photographs and resumes printed up and sent out. These days, if cybercasting becomes a reality, from anywhere from $50 to $100 or places like Industry Cafe here in Hollywood will do it for free, you can have your resume and photo scanned into a website. And the information will probably be made available for free to casting directors and talent agents. Amazing. Now, also, you showed there, and it's, uh, that's amazing, too, the, the audio and video portions that you can click on. Does this eventually replace the traditional audition, do you think? Well, most people I talk to say there really is no substitute for watching an actor in person deliver his or her performance. Those clips can give you some idea, though, whether somebody might be right for a part or not. The one drawback for the actor is, is that once you put a clip in, it's the same performance that everybody sees over and over again. It better be a good one, too. <laughs> right. Now, what about those security concerns you mentioned before? Well, talent agents are in the business of linking up the right actor for the right job. And what their concern is, is that if all of their client information becomes available online, it's theoretically available to anyone unless access is blocked. They don't want anybody making deals with their clients without them involved. Thanks, Jerry. You got it. Great story. Jerry Cobb joining us from Hollywood at that industry cafe. That's it. We're done.